Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Um, this is going to be an update with the brakes with the X5M. Everybody's been asking me about it, so I thought I'd do a true test. Um, I drove, there's a lot of bees here, I'm kind of distracted, but. So what um, I've done is I didn't clean the wheels for two weeks, drove around locally. I drove maybe um, an hour each way to a friend's house. And then I hooked up to the trailer, had to do an hour and a half drive towing. Now, guys, I'm pulling the M3 and I took it to the track. And just to let you guys know that towing the trailer, you're going to rely more on the tow vehicle's brakes. So with that, like I said, I have the Acabono Euro rears with the um, PowerStop Z23 in the front. So let's look at the dust because that's what everybody wants to see is how well it's been holding up. I can tell you now the feel, yeah, there is a slight decrease. I say slight, it's not a big difference. It's not like how it felt with the other brake pads that I used. There is a slight decrease, but it's, it's manageable. It's, it's, sometimes I even forget it's there. I mean, I don't even think about it because it's, it's so minor. I would say you're looking at about maybe a 10% reduction in initial bite than what you would get for the stock pads. So let's take a look. The rears have been great. The rears have, I wish they would make one for the front because these rears, I've never, I haven't touched them in two weeks. And I said, this is towing. And I think it's about, like I said, an hour and a half each way. And yeah, mostly highway, but there is a few places where I am doing a stopping and I had to stop a few times um, from 65 to 70 miles an hour to trailer. So you see the down of dust there, but you still see the wheels are still shiny. Now you can see dust. This is really, this is how my wheels will look after just a few days of driving with my stop pads. But this is two weeks of driving plus the towing. So guys, account for that, count for the towing because even before the towing, I was actually, it was close to the rear. The, the way that the, the, the wheels were looked, they were clean like the rear until the towing. But you can see how much it relies on the braking. But just take a look at that. And this is, this is what, this is what you get with this. One of my subscribers, Scott, I think you're asking that question about that. Yes, I highly recommend it. It is great. Like I said, from a distance, you can barely tell that there's much brake dust on those front wheels. Is a lot of people have suggested to do the windshield. So I have the windshield tenant now. 70% in the front and I also did the uh, M3 also 70% I don't know if you can see that in there but it really helps with the heat I've had a couple of days where it's been really hot um, it is a small blue hue but it is, it is ceramic film so it takes a little bit longer I mean it really like I said the heat rejection is a night and day difference and here are the wheels and uh, I could just now I could really appreciate when I clean the wheels is that they're gonna stay clean. So guys, I appreciate your guys' tips, appreciate your help with this. Um, but yeah, th these brakes are great. I highly recommend them. I'll link it in the description. And if you guys are in the Bay Area, I'll link the place who did my windshield tint. Uh, these guys had me in and out uh, pretty quickly. I would say, um, in 30 minutes for just the windshield only. I also want to ask, how do you guys feel about the black grill? I initially when I bought the car, I said first thing I want to do is black out the grill, black out the side blade. But I've been kind of thinking about keeping it the way it is. I mean, I I, I just like how the chrome accent breaks up a little bit of the. I think it goes well with the Dunton Gray. I'll just be honest with you, it, it feels like it goes with Dunton Gray. Let me know your opinion. I like to see what you guys feel about either blacking out the side blade and going with the black grill or just keeping it as is, is you know, as far as it just helps with that, that look a little bit better. Because you know, once you start, once I start the blue grill, gotta do the side blade. And then at that point, you gotta come around and do the black uh, badge. 
And if I do black badge, then I feel like I gotta do black exhaust tips. And then with that, then I might as well go ahead and do a light film over my tail lights. And I had that with my Q7. And that wasn't bad. I think I blacked out everything. I just started to black out the tail lights. It is really windy. Um, but, you know, and it still looked good. So that's another thing I could go for. But guys, thanks for watching. Just a quick update on the brakes and, you know, a few more things with the car.